It's Lucy's birthday today, so we thought we'd take a couple of days off of all the work on the Bedford and various other stuff and have a little trip away. So we're going to head up to Roadford Lake today and then we'll be moving down to Bude possibly tomorrow. So let's take you along with us. The first stop of the day would be a detour across Bodmin Moor to visit the beautiful Colourford Lake. We were going to get the drone out here and do some cool stuff, but the wind wasn't having any of it, so we hit the road again. On our way to Roadford Lake, we took the most rural roads we could find, crossing the moorland and taking in the views. Just as dusk fell, we arrived at our friend's land by the lake, which he had kindly let us use for the night. Ah, yeah, this is a nice spot just there, actually. Yeah. So we've just got to our friend's land in the middle of this beautiful field, right by road from the lake. Uh, we're just about to set up for the night, get a little fire going and just enjoy our surroundings really. It's beautiful here. sleep by road from the lake and we're ready to hit the road again and our first stop is Davisto Airfield which is a partly abandoned airfield that apparently you can drive on so we're gonna go check that out and then later on we'll be heading over to Butte to camp for the night.
I'm not sure if you can see this, but we've just found this poor sheep absolutely covered in blood. It's losing a lot of its fleece and it can't stand up properly. It keeps trying to, it keeps falling over when it tries to walk. So we've just phoned the RSPCA and they're going to come out and have a look shortly. And we're going to stay with it and make sure it doesn't try and walk off anywhere whilst, it, whilst we're waiting. Thankfully, we didn't have to wait long for the farmer to come and rescue the sheep. But we later found out from the local news that the sheep, which had been badly attacked by a dog, sadly didn't make it. After seeing that the sheep was taken care of, we decided to have an explore of the airfield, if the horses would let us. The site was opened in 1942 and used until 1954 and has slowly been decaying ever since. Nowadays its main occupants are moorland horses and sheep, as well as a local flying club, although I can't imagine it's ever a smooth takeoff. After a little look around, we could not resist checking out the main runway and having some fun. And with that, we left Davidstow to find somewhere to stay. This could end up being one of the narrowest roads we've ever driven down. Woohoo! If it goes to tits up, I'm blaming Lucy. <laughs> As we drove, the lane became increasingly steeper, narrower and slippery due to the mud. Our poor van was being scratched and scraped the whole way, but we just about squeezed through. This was definitely not motorhome territory. Sorry van. Okay, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's really nice. This is the place. Okay, so we made it to our destination for the night after driving down what was possibly the narrowest road in Devon. So we're just going to enjoy the park up tonight and have some fajitas. And then tomorrow we're going to go check out some other cool places. We could have spent all day here, but it was raining, so we didn't. Instead, we decided to make a slow way home, trying to hug the rural coastal route as much as possible.
mission of the day is just to find a nice pasty, a nice hot pasty for lunch. We're in North Cornwall at the minute and there seems to be a distinct lack of pasty shops anywhere. Where we're from in Cornwall, West Cornwall, every single town's got about 10 pasty shops in it. Can't find one here. What's wrong with your pasty, Ben? It's got peas in it. It's got peas and kidney beans and bits of carrot. What the hell is wrong with these people up here? Let us know in the comments what you think of that. If you're proper Cornish, let me know what you think of that. Peas, kidney beans and carrot. At the end of our mini road trip away, we've managed to find some beautiful new places not so far from home and left feeling nicely refreshed, ready to return and continue tackling our projects.